idiom errors, which we cover in this video, are in a sense like diction errors in the way that you have to use the right word for the right job and which word you use depends not on some underlying rule, but just based on what the standard usage is, how English uses words in certain ways. So it's more case by case rather than some general principle. Let's look at a couple of examples. Even though I trained for six years to build houses of cards, I was still surprised with how challenging the competition turned out to be. I mean, surprised with isn't, I don't think, terrible, but really we would prefer surprised by. I was still surprised by how challenging, right? You're surprised by something, not surprised with how something happens, right? You're surprised by. So when we're looking at idioms, typically we're looking at prepositions, and I'll define those in a second, but typically we're talking about these little tiny words that connect the pieces of the sentence together. You gotta make sure you're using the right one. My eight month old, month old son is curious on his feet and tries to stick them in his mouth. So careful, there is an expression to kind of think on your feet, for example, but that's not what's going on here. He's not curious on his feet, he's curious about his feet. That is the proper prepositional idiom given the way this sentence is put together and given that we're using curious, right? You're curious about things, not curious on things. So unfortunately, as I said, there are no rules or reasons why an idiom is the way it is. Idioms are just expressions, they're just phrasings that just have to be learned as you learn a language. So native speakers typically don't have an issue with this because as you learn your language, you learn idioms, and as long as you don't overthink it, as long as you base it on your kind of intuitive feelings about it, you should be okay with them. Now, non-native speakers obviously will have much more trouble with this, so maybe for non-native speakers, looking up idiom word lists might be useful. And you can do that by Googling SAT idioms list, but frankly, I, even in the case of non-native speakers, I don't think it's the best use of your time. You wanna make sure you've got all the other errors out of the way, and then you can worry about things like idiom errors. Uh, the main thing that for both, for everybody is that when you see a preposition, and a preposition is a small word like after, at, in, on, and of, that shows relationship typically in place and time between things. When you see these little words, pay attention, because very often, or not should say very often, but uh, sometimes there will be an error there. And idiom errors don't come up too often, at least they haven't in the practice tests. We're talking one to two per test. So they're not everywhere, and typically they're pretty obvious, at least they seem not too bad so far. So we'll see. Uh, if you want a list of prepositions, you can just go to this link. So let's look at some examples. Nutritionists consider Greek yogurt to be a healthy food. It is an excellent source of calcium and protein serves to be a digestive aid and it contains few calories. So the issue here, we actually looked at this one a little bit previously, it's supposed to be serves as, not serves like, or serves for, or serves to be. Why is it serves as? That's just the idiom, right? Something serves as something else. That is just the phrase. So unfortunately, you kind of either know it or you don't, and this one ends up being B. I mean, at the very least, if you didn't know that, you can perhaps get rid of C and D and then make a guess between A and B. 25, it was during this time that I read an article into co-working spaces. So you're not reading an article into something, you're reading an article about something, right? You don't read an article upon something. Uh, you could read an article for something, but like that usually means for some purpose, not about some topic. And you don't certainly read an article into something. So again, the proper idiom here would be article about, read an article about something. So we go with B.